whenever I leave the house, you know, I worry about my daughter. You know, you, you, 30 fucking five school shootings this year. It's crazy. You know, you see that little young kid's face. Did you see the one fucking 12 year old? He's like, I get a bat, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> no. And that's how these kids got to be. Yeah, yeah. They interviewed a 12 year old kid from the Colorado shooting this mm-hmm. past week. Yeah. And the kid was like, I'll take a bat or whatever. He said, like, you got a bat. Yeah. He's like, yeah. I don't want to go down. I'm not going to go down unless I'm swinging. That's, you know, and that's. I'm trying to. How old is your oldest, eldest now? He is uh, three and a half. Three and a half. Yeah, yeah, you got two more years to not to worry. And then they go to kindergarten, and then you're yeah. on the road, and there's a school shooting. And you know, when there's a school shooting in Kentucky, it affects all of us. Yeah, of course. No, it's terrible. You know, and it's amazing how people who don't have kids. You, I, dog, my whole view has changed on kids. I've always loved kids anyway. Like I've always, I'm not Michael Jackson. <laughs> I'm not going to invite them to the house. No, and no, fuck but yeah. a great adventure but kids with are great. Yeah. But I like kids. I like yeah. talking to them. I like observing kids and yeah. where their head is at. You know, when all that shit happened before, you grieve for the parents. Like you're like, I would hate to be, no, no parent should have to bury their child. No. You know? So you grieve about all that shit. But, at the same time, now Mercy goes to school. And now when I'm on the road or whatever, you have to fucking uh, prepare them. You have to prepare them. Like I've already shot a gun in front of her just to see if she'd shit her pants. You know, just to, you have to prepare them, man. It's a different fucking world. And I got to tell you something. If anybody should have shot up a school, it would have been a guy like me. <laughs> That lost his mother at 17, that fucking was really confused, I was angry at the world, you know. This God that they talked to me about for fucking 15 years, wherever the fuck is he? Yeah. Because no God would remove his mother from his kid. Right. And I would never think of blowing you know, At that age, I, no. first of all, this is my place of business. Yeah. That's why I sold my ass <laughs> and how am I going to shoot up my own joint? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> why am I going to shoot up my own joint? Yeah. So it just, it just doesn't... Uh, just doesn't make fucking sense to me when no the fucking shooting thing is so goddamn depressing man you see did you see the fucking gun raid in homeby hills yeah a thousand holy shit homeby hills that's that's a beverly hills bel-air adjacent like right there it's big time money and they they fucking found a thousand guns i saw sheets and covers and shotguns like Rifles, assault rifles, all kinds of shit. That motherfucker had more guns than Lincoln. <laughs> yeah, he did. That <laughs> motherfucker was going to war. That's he was the ready to go. I think they said he was a white supremacist. They, they haven't really really released much info. You know who some, owned the house? There's the uh, Getty, one of the daughters of the Getty. I'm really. telling you, something's yeah. not right. Here. By the way, how fucking upsetting is it that uh, the OK symbol has been hijacked? Yeah. Like that now that's an uh, a white supremacist thing. Do you know that? I don't even know what the OK symbol is. That. That is considered. It's a flying asshole. Where I come yeah, from. Well, okay? <laughs> that's not an okay for, symbol for, for years. For what is a where I came from, mean? look at it. That's a flying <laughs> asshole. That's what this was. You ever see an asshole okay. flying? No. And then uh, the the South Americans were all like, "This means you're gay." So they're like, "This means you want you want some." Dick in your ass. You make the OK symbol. Yeah, yeah. this has always been yeah. dick in your ass. Yeah, put a dick in my ass. You know, ass. if you go, if you're standing on the corner and some guy yeah. pulls up at the light and goes like this, yeah, he's asking you, yeah. you want to dick me in the fucking ass for the small thirty? <laughs> he's giving you three oh, fingers or yeah. the small three hundred. When yeah. I grew up, it was a game. Like negotiate. if you got someone to see it, you got to punch them. That was the it was a game. But now, yeah, now it's. Well, who who would you play these games with? I don't know. Are the little faggy fucking kids? I guess this it. means fucking in the ass. Yeah. And this means a flying asshole. <laughs> but now it well, means me white fucking power. You remember, your, you remember your first blowjob? Yeah. What was the guy's name? <laughs> Joey. Say, you God damn it. Did you ever experiment? You. Did you do some gay shit? No. Not even a little bit? Not even He's a little. He's thinking about it now. Yeah. No, He's no I'm not. You know, I, I wrestled him. No, no. He's been to gay bars and shit. Not yet. I, just the, a Monday night life, wrestling. Life is young. Life is young. I can, you I ever can... had like a tennis coach who's like, no, you got to do it like this. 